<coughs> Hello guys, si Kaya Fran Vlogs Audio. If you thought, welcome to episode 3 ng Laruta ng The Journey Down Chapter 3. So okay, continue natin yung adventure ni na Buana, Kito, tsaka Lina. So, go. Last episode, may bago tayong kakakampi si Gabi. Tapos ano, sabi niya, hanapin natin si Professor Moorhead. Kaya lang, hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin para mapa, ano, mahanap eh. So, sige. Ipot muna tayo. Subukan natin bumalik doon sa, ano, doon sa university. Baka may, meron na tayong hindi na, ano, na, na, na gawa para makapasok. Try natin. Canal. Sankara Square. Agibo University. Baka meron na tayong hindi nagawa dito eh. So, alam natin, lock yung pintuan. Oh, man! It's locked! Fire escape? Okay, try natin <laughs> Oh, this must be where the university store all their old junk. Old junk. Boxes. Oh, these boxes are full of magnets. I'm sure they won't mind if I borrow one. Magnet. the magnet I found at the university. The box says, impounded material from Professor Kenwabe's great magneton experiment. I wonder what that was. CCTV machine. Yeah, monitor mona. Hey, I can see all the different rooms in the university from here. This must be some kind of surveillance system. Boxes then. Hmm, looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. <laughs> CCTV machine. I wonder what these machines do. Aha! I bet this is where all the recorded surveillance footage is stored. Of interest here. <laughs> Doesn't need any magnetizing, man. Doesn't need any magnetizing, man. Okay. 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 Dito, dito yun sa start ng unang game. <laughs> dito yun, ah. Door. Mailbox. It's a letter that says, Esteemed Professor Moorhead, we have yet to receive your report regarding the incident at your office. University policy requires a report to be filled within a period of two days, and it has now gone exactly one week since the break-in. 
This is not acceptable. P.S. Your cheese sandwiches in the refrigerator are getting moldy again. The day the university gets rid of your whimsical ideas and your moldy cheese will be a day to celebrate indeed. Yours truly, Harold Porcupine, Headmaster Porcupine. of Boy University. It's dated 22nd of March. 22nd of March. It's a letter that says, Esteemed Professor Moorhead. We and it has, this is P.S. The yours <laughs> true. It's dated. 22nd of March. Does it need any magnetizing, man? Yeah, check that in door. I should probably be careful with this door. I should probably be careful with this door. Not no guy with jackhammer. Does it need any magnetizing, man? Okay, balik tayo sa city, CCTV room. Ay, tignan yung portrait. Wow, I wonder why people and academics always got to look so goofy. March 22nd. So, time travel tayo dun. Nothing of interest here. of interest here. Huwag masabing hanapin natin ito per hour. Not of interest here. Not of interest here. Not of interest here. I can see all the different rooms in the university from here. This must be some kind of surveillance system. Not enough interest here. Not enough interest here. of interest here. Not enough interest here. Not enough interest here. Not enough interest here. Not enough interest here. Teka nga, hanap na muna akong guide guys. Teka. Hmm, looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. Hanap tayo ng guide. Teka guys, sunod lang ha. Kesa naman kapain ko ng kapain yung oras. Meron to clock dito, sabi ng guide. Asang, asang clock? Meron to clock dito eh. Nandun daw yung oras eh. Dito, dito. Nandito sa, sa kwarto. Baka nandito. Yup! This has got to be Lina and Moorhead's office. Ayun, may, may clock nga. Dapat pala pumasok muna ako dito. Okay. <laughs> Pasaway. Looks like the clock stopped when it fell down on the floor. It 
get stuck at 6.42. Okay. It's a map of St. Armando. With the barricaded area clearly marked smack dab right in the middle of the city. It's a map of St. Armando. With the barricaded area clearly marked smack dab right in the middle of the city. Inboard. Photograph. Hey, it's Lena. And that must be Professor Moorhead. This must be from one of the expeditions together. Article. It's an old article from the Armando Daily. The Key of Elders. Hmm. Relic stolen from museum. Key of Elders. Yesterday, the Key of Elders was stolen in a bold raid in broad daylight from the St. Armando Heritage Museum. Ayutas claim a large hovering aircraft was seen. Um, large hovering aircraft. Uh, alam na natin kung sino yan, yung mga si Sulu. Hey, what's this? This must be Moorhead's secret underland research. The Horn of Abaquan, and other folk tales of the underdark of the underland. Underdark na naman. Forward. You will find among these pages the rarely published accounts of the second age of the Thori, as handed down by the Angu Angua Angua people to whom we owe great appreciation for modern day under understanding of the underland due to the laws concerning underland literature uh, due to the laws concerning underland literature however centuries of scholarly work have fallen victim to government censorship through their reckless acts today's leaders have chosen to erase and criminalize our deeper mis mystical past uh, mythical past uh, and criminalize our deeper mythical past as our civilization plunges into the chasms of ignorance. In these, great, in these grave times of historic neglect, it falls to me to recollect the Angua lore and elder tales. The Horn of Aqua, the Horn of Aqua Quan and other folk tales of the Underdark. Uh, under, underland. Underdark number one. Event. Nyakazu, Nyakazu, the son of Oganon, was the greediest of all the Thori. Because of his greed, Nyakazu, Nyakazu, uh, Nyakazu was, was exiled and forced to live alone among the highest branches of the great Asili tree, far, 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 far above the, far above the underland. Oganon told her son that. That he was not to return until he had atoned for all of his misdeeds. But Nyakazo, impatient, became angry with the Thori. He vowed to take revenge on all who had forsaken him. And so one day, Nyakazo broke the rules set by Oganon and climbed down from the Asili, from the great Asili tree. Ayun, you know, yung, ito sa, ano, <clears throat> yun sa stone relief dun sa umpisa ng game. Feeling betrayed, the wrath brought, the wrath brought down by Nyak Nyakazu filled the sky with darkness and corrupted the other land. The Thori were powerless against Nyakazu, and even Avaquan, the mighty, the mightiest of the Thori, was defeated in, and imprisoned. Nyakazu ruled the underland, the horn of Araquan, the horn of Aquaquan, and other folk tales of the underland. Nyakazo ruled the underland in an evil reign that came to, to last a thousand years. He enslaved all who stood in his way and made the great Asili tree wither to its core. No matter how much Oganon begged him, Nyakazo refused to release Akakwan from his, sha from his shackles. The elders were saddened and as they wept, their tears poured down over the underland. The rain continued for a week and then a month without end until finally the great Marushaka, Marushaka River overflowed and seeped out into the jungles, caves and wetlands that the 
that the Maru- Marushaka River never had touched before. In her new path, Maru- Marushaka witnessed, witnessed the destruction of Nyakazo's evil reign. The great river, the great river visited the edge of the Ngawa Desert and passed through the Bando, Bandoha Highlands until he until she finally reached the end of the Atlas Plateau, where she leapt forward and dove into the volcan in the volcanic Kwayerumoshi caves below. Ay yung cave na pinatahan natin. Ipinangkalinga natin ba ni? It was there in the deepest cave of Kwayerumo, Kwayerumoshi that she found a most curious urn. Maru Shaka had never seen an urn quite like this before, and she decided to ask the elders for advice. Maru Shaka was told that she must give the urn to Nyakazo as a gift. They told her that Nyakazo would refuse the gift and that when, she, when he does, Maru Shaka must ask Nyakazo if the urn is too heavy for him to carry. Marushaka did as he as she had been told. Just as the elders foretold, Nakazo refused the urn, saying it was not a gift fit for a king. Marushaka then asked Nakazo if the urn was too heavy for him to carry. Nakazo became furious that his strength was questioned, and in his vanity he used all of his power to lift the urn. Tapos. But just as Nakazo raised the urn over his head, the elders shook the earth. And the urn fell over him, wrapping him inside. Marushaka quickly sealed the urn and carried it back to the Kwayerumoshi Caves, where she hid it un- deep under underneath the largest volcano of the Underland. Ayun pinuntan nga natin cave. Nakazo's punishment was to linger on eternity in the depths of the volcano, confined within the dark emptiness of the urn. The Underland was at peace, and Avakwan, Avakwan released from his imprisonment, returned to the mist where he vowed to protect the underland from anyone who dared creep down from above. As a token of his gratitude, Avakwan broke off one of his horns and placed it in the temple of elders so that they may call upon him if ever danger once again would threaten the underland. Okay, the story man. Ang point, anong point ng kwento na yun nga lang? It's full of used tea bags! Tea bags. A pecant herbal eel bladder blend from the mysterious depths of Pango Kuba. It's pecant, alright. Pecant and moldy. I bet all Morton from the lighthouse would have loved this. Hey, take al pass, though. Alam natin yung uh, 6.42. <laughs> Me and Kito used to have a lot of fun with these coffee machines back when we were kids. But then my, uh, behind got way too much attention. So they sort of banned us from the print shop. Oh man, it's out of paper. Out of paper. We don't have paper. We don't have magnet. Doesn't need any magnetizing, man. Yung, re- yung clock. Doesn't need any magnetizing, man. Books. Wow, looks like Lena and Moorhead have done a lot of reading. <laughs> it take me forever to read through all these books. <laughs> it take me forever to read through all these books. Hey, what's this? says gas and charter this must have been what led those goons to kingsport bay looks like lena's handwriting hey what's this it says gas and charter this must have been what led those goons to kingsport bay looks like lena's handwriting computer. Wow, they really busted this computer up good when they raided the place. Okay, at least na natin yung time. Okay. 
take me back to March 22nd, 6.42 a.m. Puro a.m. nga. Of interest here. Baka kape eighty ano eighteen. Not enough interest here. Malipa tega. Di ba March? It's a. It's we have. And it has now this PS the day yours true. It's dated 22nd of March. 22nd of March now, 642. March 22. Ah! Sobra pa ng <laughs> Kulang pa ng dalawa pala. Okay, go. Not enough interest here. of interest here hey I can see all the different this must be not enough interest here not enough interest here March 22nd. Hey, I can see all the different rooms in the university from here. This must be some kind of surveillance system. Mm. 642, Diva. March 22nd. It's stuck at 642. Ah, yeah. Of interest here. Six forty. Not enough interest here. Not enough interest here. Of interest here. Not enough interest here. What to take a break on guide? Sabi 642. One week, okay, kaya pala. One week, so tama, tama yung guide. Kailangan natin i-move ng ilang, ng ano. Fifteenth, one week, yung letter, one week na, okay. Okay. Hindi ko kagad na get yun, ha. Not enough interest here. Okay, sa why. I can see them breaking into the office. I'd better make a printout. It's a picture of those guys who broke into the university. I wonder if maybe someone could help me identify them. It's a picture of those guys who broke into the university. I wonder if maybe someone could help me identify them. 
naman, that ain't gonna work. Okay, so exit na. Subukan natin bumalik, tanong natin kay Gabi. Tanong, nasaan ba siya? Nata siya hanapin. Kasi sa kanal muna. Subukan natin ito sa mga to. You recognize these guys? Yeah, that's the Bozy brothers. Ooh, those are some real tough guys. Cold-hearted crooks, working from down on 42nd Street near the downtown subway station. Yeah, but you better stay away from those guys. You mess with them, you're bound to get hurt. I have to find them. They're my only lead to finding Professor Moorhead. Well, I wish you luck, man. This Moorhead guy might just be the key to finding the weak spot in the wicked plans of the power company. This could be the magic bullet the revolution has been waiting for, Buona. All right. Time to head downtown. No, we're done. So, 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 can't let that go. It's just okay. No one can. Do the downtown, that's okay. No, I'm oh yeah, who's slamming it? Come on, Isabel, you got this! Only 10,000 points to go on the high score is ours again! Almost got it! Almost got it! Oh, oh man, I swear this game is rigged. Give me another quarter, Saskia. This time, I'll definitely nail it. Sorry, Isabel, that was our last one. Oh man! Tayo. An important message from the Saint Armando Public Health Ministry. Dietitians around the world are shocked by this new simple trick. Man survives six years on diet of fat phonies and fatitos XXL? And in small print it says, This public health message was sponsored by Kiboko Food Corp. Think healthy, think Kibuko. Ah, it's good to be back downtown. The Ten Toes Arcade. Cool ten place. Toes arcade. This is exactly the kind of joint me and Keto used to hang out in back in the day. Whoa! Are you guys playing Super Metal Commando? Well, we were playing it, but that damn last level keeps eating our quarters. Ah, the Metal Moon Base, right? Right. Space turrets keep busting my shields. Yeah, I remember those. That used to be mine and Kito's favorite game when we were kids. Hey, this ain't no kid's business, all right? We're reclaiming our turf. You playing with the crew? You with the laser punks? Because this here is cheetah territory. So you better back off or we're going to dice you, man. Hey, cool it, ladies. I'm no laser punk. Good, because the only good laser punk is a game over <laughs> laser punk. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah! Good one, Saskia. You ladies heard of the Bosey Brothers? You ladies heard of the Bosey Brothers? Sorry, man. Never heard of them. Are they a crew? I don't think so, no. How about a professor named Moorhead? <laughs> Step off, man. You think we're some kind of hosers or something? We don't hang out with no schoolboys. Yeah, cheetahs don't mingle with academics, all right? 
Your guy's too cool for school, huh? You slammed it, man! If the streets can't teach it to you, you ain't gonna learn it. Word. What's your beef with, the, with these laser punks anyway? What's your beef with these laser punks anyways? It's a turf war, man. Everybody knows the downtown arcade is cheetah territory. Laser punks are trying to disgrace us by topping our high scores. So they beat your high score, huh? Well, maybe they're just better than you. <laughs> Laser punks better gamers than the cheetahs? No way, that's bent, man. We built our empire on pure hardcore gaming skill. We're <laughs> wicked wizard on this. Yeah, everybody knows the only reason those lame laser punks keep stealing our turf and beating our scores is because they jacked the tin store and cashed up. Now we're all out. We've been feeding this thing beans all day. I'm surprised it isn't bleeding quarters by now. So what's new downtown? So what's new downtown? A lot of heat these days. With most of the cops tied up with more of those silly ass barricades, the rest of the city is going wacko. Nobody's watching the streets. Yeah, the turf wars used to be pretty friendly. Sure, we had a couple pretty messy boot parties with the other crews, but we settled most of the beef in the arcades. But without any piggies around, it's turning into a full-scale gang war, man. Yeah, you gotta watch your back these days when everyone's packing heat. It used to be high scores, fists, and boots. Now, it's knives and Uzis. Robberies everywhere and fume heads rolling their brains out all over the place. With Mayor Morobo at the helm, the city's in some real deep shit. Tell me more about the street gangs. Tell me more about the street gangs. Well, the raddest of the rat are us cheetahs. We're the wizards of downtown. Can handle just about any machines except uh, maybe some of those lame jock sports games. Cool. Are the rude boys still around? I remember them gaming in our neighborhood when we were kids. Sure. The rude boys got the heights as usual. Trying to push into the financial district, but the Howlin' Hawks are dope and always put up a good fight, especially with platformers. Rude boys ain't got a chance there even if they're pretty sharp on the pinball machines. Then, there's the jocks. They mostly hang out down in the subways and will mess with anyone who tries to lay a high score on one of their lame old football machines. But who cares, really? Yeah, real games have explosions. Lots of them. Amen, sis. All right, ladies, stay hot. See you around, dude. Still no quarters, huh? Nah. Kind of frustrating knowing there's a huge treasure trove of them inside the machine, though. Okay, fine. Give me the magnet. I can't get the quarters out with a magnet. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> I doubt they'd be interested. Okay, so... We'll put 12 minutes. So, explore, explore, put that. Explore that is the CD. Aha, this must be the place. Well, hello, handsome. Hi, lady. Lady? Well, aren't you a true gentleman? I'm Rose. Pleased to meet you, sugar. You can call me Buana. Well, why don't you come a little closer, Buana? Explore, explore. Satellite phone. Satellite phone? This window is full of notes. Here's one that says, Important message from management. Warning, running all washing machines simultaneously will result in serious infrastructure overload. It won't start without quarters. Satellite phone. Cool telephone. It's a long-range satellite phone. I can take the job with me wherever I go. I put my life savings into this, darling, and it's already paid off tenfold. You make money with a phone? Sure. 
The world is full of desperate, lonely, sad people, Buana. It is my calling to help them. For a meager ten bucks a minute, they get, uh, professional adult friendship. Uh, counseling. <laughs> That's awfully friendly of you. What can <laughs> I say? I've got a big heart. Innocent talaga, eh? That's right. Make yourself comfortable, sugar. Gets awfully lonely when my phone isn't ringing. Slow business today. I'm looking for the Bozy brothers. I'm looking for the Bozy brothers. Oh, those hoodlums. You've come to the right place if you're after those fellas. They're up on 65. But you better stay away from them, darling. They're real bad boys. Someone ought to teach them a lesson and give them a spanking. A good, proper spanking. That's what I'd like to give naughty, naughty, bad boys like them. Have you been a bad boy? I'm as bad as they come, lady. Eh, uh, no. Nope, definitely <laughs> not. Oh, that's a shame. So how's business? So how's business? Let me tell you, Buana. I've been part of every racket you can imagine in this city. I used to be a dancer. I was real good, too. I could swing my fur like no other. I do have fine fur. I still got some moves, if you care for a peek. Just remember, I can be pretty intense. You know what they say, he who dares not grasp the thorn should never crave the rose. <laughs> right. No thanks. Your loss, honey. The years may have taken a minor toll on me, but my voice remains essentially delicate as ever. Nice block you got here. Nice block you got here. Yes, it certainly is. However, I fear they're gonna tear it down like so much else these days. I do hate to see it go. I was born and bred right here on this very corner. Sold my first dinky here and lost my apples in that dumpster over there back in 48. Oh, the precious memories. This should be a sanctified landmark if you ask me. Gotcha later, lady. Oh, do swing by again, honey. And if ever you should feel the sad veil of loneliness overcome you, remember, adult friendship counseling can save your life. <laughs> Okay, save natin mo na may progress rin yan kahit pa paano. This is Rose speaking. Well, what a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Orville. 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 Such a... Sensual name. In bed? Yes. Oh, yes, I am. On sheets of silk. <laughs> I can see why this place is condemned. It's fallen apart from the insides. This is definitely the kind of place I'd expect to find the Bozy brothers. Ay, gas can eh, no? It says apartment number 736. It says notice of eviction. By order of the St. Armando City Council, all tenants to vacate the Tannhauser building at Kitumbani Avenue without delay. For complaints, file form 244564D at City Hall. Why do I get the feeling that no one is going to be reading those complaints? Man, that ain't gonna work. Ooh, free gas. They never pass up free gas. Oh man, it's empty! Ay, walang laman. Kaya pala. It's got no gas in it, man. Hmm. I think I hear voices inside. 
Hey, Fosey, how long we gonna be stuck in this joint anyways? The building's about to get wrecked, you know. We gotta stay here because the boss says to guard the professor, all right? Gotta keep four eyes here out of trouble, see? Well, uh, how about we just kept the professor and beat it, huh? <laughs> you kept the professor, you explain that to the boss, okay? They've got Professor Moorhead! I gotta find a way to save him! Okay, uh, we have four minutes, so let's see what we're I don't want to draw their attention. Uh, hanging out in this goddamn building's making me nervous. What if we're stuck in here when the record starts? Oh, for Christ's sakes, quit acting like a big baby! Boss told us to stay put, so we stay in put. If they start wrecking, we skedaddle, all right? Got to get rid of those guys somehow. Hey again. Oh, hello, darling. So sweet of you to swing by. Gotcha later, lady. Hold on, huh? It says Kitumbuni Avenue and 42nd Street. Me and Kito used to run around a lot on Kitumbuni back when we were kids. Good to see the area is still keeping busy. I wonder why they took down all the palm trees, though. It says Twazi's 24-hour laundry service. Okay, anyway, uh, but the time na ay, may nakalip. Hindi ba, clickable ba yun? Flipping pig from the power company. Just ignore him, Saskia. Hey, you two with the funny hair! I'm talking to you, you muppets! Funny hair, huh? huh. What do you want, Baldy? This 42nd Street! So what if it is? Got an order to prepare the block for blackout. Prepping for the barricades. Is this it, you moron? Why don't you go shut down your own block, Baldy? Find on, Isabel! <laughs> Ah, a lot of help you are, you bloody street trash. See how funny you think it is when I get the order and I shut down your little playhouse there. Bloody low laughs, you make me sick. <laughs> Buzz off, Baldy. I mean, drama dito, so check natin the next episode, so save muna natin. Let's end na. menu okay that's end na natin guys so Kershaw and Velosa signing off guys tuloy natin itong adventure na itong next episode